as we worship this God who is the only wise one. Raise your voice to the heavens. Worship the covenant keeper. Worship the one whose words have never failed. Worship the one that will never break his promises. Worship him that can do all things. The Alpha. The Omega. The beginning of all things. The ending of all things. The God that has answers to every question. The one that has solutions to all problems. Worship him. Worship the I am that I am. Worship him. Worship your changing God. Worship him. Let no rimalaga itali amara polege. Rapri malaga yeteri mali agalata itali mali paiga. Rambalu to ye moru mali agalata ye mari mali kaiye ye ye moru malaga. Father, we worship your name. Who is like unto you? Which God can be compared with you? Who can stand beside you? Makarupa sute li amaruga sato. Arugu ajo. Ata kama taka. Oba le she le we ale we le she. Allah wa ba ba ti ya mo re ni no fe ya we worship you. We bless your name. Kadiosi. Akasho sholano. Akasho sholeni. Akasho shoti ti ya na ye. Allah we bani. Abati ko ji pada. Awu o ma se pe. Ben benike. Abati pe re ka kiri gbogbo agbaye. Alade ewura. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. Gbogbo ara kiki oko. Gbogbo ita ni kiki oko. Oroyi o ku fu oko. Ologo jola. Apa to gbe oko kare oko. We worship you. 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 Marika la sai mara mo setole. You are the covenant keeper. You are the covenant keeper. You are the covenant keeper. We bow before you. We bow before you. We bow before you. We bow before you.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. We bless you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worship. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worship. There is an outpouring of God's power right now. There is an outpouring of His power. Sicknesses are being healed right now. Lift up your hands to the heavens. The power is still dropping. The power is still dropping. The power is still dropping. It's dropping. It's dropping. Yokes of diseases are being broken right now. The Lord said there's somebody here you have this affliction that have been with you for quite some time now and whenever it starts you bleed both from your nose and your anus you've taken several medications but each time this affliction comes despite all the treatment you have taken. The Lord will want to destroy the yoke of affliction that resulted in that experience in you. If you are that person, I want you to just get up wherever you are and come before the altar. There's a woman here, or maybe a lady, you just suddenly discovered that one of your breasts started to shrink and is now smaller than the other one you can't explain why you can't tell how it is happening but it's being of a great concern to you the Lord said the same thing that shrunk we shoot out again. Whatever is responsible for that shrinking, the Lord is destroying it this afternoon. When well, the Lord said, if I say this, the person concerned will know. 
he said you have a report of death in your hands and it's so real that if something is not done death knock it at the door but the Lord said that she said to you that he is the one that created death so he has power to terminate death and it says that report of death that is before you is annulled today in the name of Jesus The Lord said there is a, a, a lady here, a woman here. You have this string or bead, whatever it is, that you tie around your waist. They said to you, it will give you both protection and favor. But unfortunately for you, is a restriction around your glory. Wherever you are standing, make your way to the restroom, go and remove that thing and bring it before the altar. Every restriction, every limit they have placed around your life, the Lord is destroying it today in the name of Jesus. So if you are that lady, quickly make your way to the restroom before the end of the service make sure that that thing is before the altar of the Lord. Thank you. And the Lord said it's not just her alone. God said he has sworn never to share his glory with any other God. He said there are some of you here, you are asking him for help. But you already have with you a token that you have sought for from a lesser God for you to obtain help. I don't know whether it's a ring, I don't know whether it's a wristband, I don't know whatever it is. And that thing has been with you. God said for as long as you have them with you, you forfeit his help. He said, but if you can get rid of them today, he will extend his hand of help to you. I will ask the ushers to bring a basket to the front of the altar. You are there, you are one of those. Innocently, you were given. And you've been using it. I want to say to the Lord, Lord, I'm giving it all because I need your help. You'll find your way to the front of the altar and you quickly drop it there. Except that is done, what you are desperately looking for today will not get to you. Because God said his glory he will not share with any other God. All eyes are still closed now and all heads are bowed. If you are one of them, please, and you are ready to give it up quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly come and drop it. Quickly come and drop it. Quickly come and drop it. And the Lord said there's someone here the problem with your family is not that people don't make money. People make money, they get to heights of influence, but the problem is they can't sustain themselves there. You've seen several people that have risen in your family and they have fallen. Even you, it has happened to you twice. And you're asking God, God, when will I ever 
make it to the top and stay at the top the lord said because you are here today that cause that has prevented people in your family from staying at the top the lord said it is broken in the name of jesus Now, why we take the next song of worship? If you are one of the people that God have made mention of this or a case, I'd like you to find your way to the front of the altar. Maybe while these people are coming, you have something you want to drop, you can mix up with them so that you can just quietly drop the thing you want to drop. My faith looks up to thee, the land of Calvary, Savior divine. Stop your hands to him as we sing again. Hey, look up to you. My faith looks up to the Lamb, the Lamb of Calvary. of covenant this afternoon and i'd like you to pray asking for god's mercy over your life peradventure there is anything that will not make the covenant of god to work for you you want to cry out to god for mercy this afternoon so you will lift up your voice to him and say father i can't hear you say father in the name of jesus as i have come to the altar of covenant i ask for your mercy if there is anything in my life that will not make your covenant work for me have mercy upon me in the name of jesus open your mouth and pray to god open your mouth and pray to god Ministers, please, can you join me on the altar? Those of us in front, please rise up. Those of us in front, please rise up. Rise up. The ministers of God will come and they will lay their hands on you. Ask God for mercy, ministers. Whatever it is, 
that will not allow God's covenant to work for me. Lord mercy. 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 Let's go and lay hands. Let's go and lay hands. Let's lay hands. Once hands are laid on you, you can go back to your seat. Once hands are laid on you, you can go back to your seat. Lift up your hands to the Lord again. And you are going to really cry to him and say, Father. Father. I said cry to him and say, Father. Father. You know that desperate need of my life. You know that which has brought me to your presence today. According to your word. That which I'm looking for today. Let me find in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray to God. That which I'm looking for. Let me find. Let me find. That which I'm looking for. Let me find in the name of Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. And I stand on the integrity of God's word. And I declare that that which is your desperate need, that you have come to seek God's for, the Lord will grant unto you in the name of Jesus. For the man whose amen will go loud, I say God will grant unto you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Now, please listen. Listen, listen to this. And all eyes closed. 
there's there's a lady here you are still single even though you have advanced in years and it's not only you that is single in your family sometimes when you sleep you feel like there is a presence beside you on the bed you feel a kind of moving sensation and a, a kind of coldness that suggests to you that it's likely a snake is beside you and when that happens for fear you can't even open your eyes you, you, you can feel it it's not just imagination you can feel it it happens to you like that once in a while and you've discovered it's not just only you that it happens to is a common experience amongst you sisters in the family how will you ever get a man beside you when you're already married to a snake this person I'm talking about you know it is it's not just an imagination sometimes if not for fear you could have opened your eyes to see and the Lord said in the beginning it wasn't so he didn't create man to marry animal and he said because you are here that which is the bond between you and that snake he said he's going to break it off you now this is a very serious one and I want to plead with that person please don't take it lightly we have some senior pastors here that would attend to you if you are that person please all eyes are still closed and when I say all eyes closed I mean all eyes closed don't carry what is not your own all eyes closed there's nothing you are looking at close your eyes if you are that person I want you to come forward now just come forward and find a place towards my left hand to stand the Lord also said there's someone here out of zeal you went back to your hometown to go and destroy some idols and ever since then life has not been the same for you it's been from one problem to another nightmare terrible experiences you've been having you wanted to do a right thing but you lacked the power to do what you did and you have brought yourself under a spell and God says he will have mercy on you that the hold over your life is going to destroy this morning if you are that person also you also come out I will give you 30 seconds for the two cases to come out. If I don't see anybody, we'll continue with the service. God doesn't impose himself on people. He extends his hand of help. If you accept it, God will help you. If you refuse it, God goes on with whatever he wants to do. I'm giving just 30 seconds. And I will count it very fast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. And the rest of us, even though we have our eyes closed, I'd like you to stretch forth your hands towards the altar. And I want us to make prayers unto God for these ones. For those that have been married in the spirit to snakes, 
let's decree that the bond be broken and for those that have come under a spell let's decree that the spell be broken pastor wrote me please Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. May I say to that person, you've already concluded on the suicide plan. You, you told yourself, let me, let me go and give God a trial again but adventure my story will change in any case you've made up your mind if things don't change after now you will commit suicide I, I don't know who you are but the God you have come to meet is a faithful God I don't know how soon God is going to turn things around for you. But whatever suicide plan you have made for yourself, destroy it. Because your future is very glorious. You have a very glorious future. It's often said that it's darkest before dawn. You are going through the darkest moment of your life. But soon after that, the glory you have long been waiting for 
will break forth. So destroy that plan. That's the devil's agenda for your life. It's not God's plan for you. Father, we give thanks to you. What a faithful God you are. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for your presence. Lord, we thank you for your presence. We glorify your name, Father. Lord, we thank you for the word you have spoken ahead of time. We thank you for the promise you have made. You said for as many as will attend to this meeting, that our song after the service will be that which we are looking for. We have found. Father, we know you will not fail your word. We therefore thank you because whatever it is that we are looking for, we have already obtained from you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Speak your word to us. Let your word establish your counsel in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you everlasting father. We glorify your name. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed. What if I say we should remain standing? Why are we so quick to take our seats? All right, God bless you. You may please be seated. John 21. May I say this again? If you are one of the people that God expects to drop something on the altar, you have not dropped it. Maybe it's um, a protective charm, a ring or whatever. Before the end of this service, make sure you find a way of dropping it. Uh, otherwise, the problem that will come after, you won't be able to handle it. I want to decree into somebody's life again that what you are looking for you will find in the name of Jesus. John 21, I read from verse 1. And after these things, Jesus showed himself again to the disciples at the Sea of Tiberias. And on this wise showed he himself. There's somebody that has come in faith to this sanctuary today. The Lord will show himself to you in the name of Jesus. The Lord will prove his power in your life in the name of Jesus. There were together Simon Peter and Thomas called Didymus and Nathanael of Cana in Galilee and the sons of Zebedee and two other of his disciples. Simon Peter said unto them, I go a fishing. And they say unto him, We also go with thee. They went forth and enter into a ship immediately and that night they caught nothing but when the morning was now come jesus stood on the shore but the disciples knew not that it was jesus then jesus said unto them children have ye any meat they answered him no and he said unto them cast the net on the right side of the sheep and ye shall find they cast therefore and now they were not able to draw it for the multitude of fishes therefore that disciple whom jesus loved said unto peter it is the lord now when simon peter heard that it was the lord he got his fisher's coat unto him for he was naked and did cast himself into the sea and the other disciples came in a little ship, for they were not far from land, but as it were, two hundred cubits, dragging the net with fishes. As soon as they were come to land, they saw a fire of coals there, and fish laid thereon and bread. Jesus said unto them, 
bring of the fish which ye have now caught and simon peter went up and drew the net to land full of great fishes and hundred and fifty three and for all there were so many yet was not the net broken jesus appeared to his disciples by the way after jesus left he gave them the commandment to wait on him because he had just given them an assignment and they needed to be empowered for the assignment and while the period lasted that they were waiting for jesus peter got up one day and said to the other disciples i go a fishing in other words i'm going out to look for fish could it be that peter was hungry <laughs> probably yes i wouldn't know could it be that peter was broke and needed to get some money probably yes i can't tell but one thing is certain there was a need in the life of peter that he wanted met at all costs and he said to his disciples let me go and fish for what i'm looking for i believe there's someone here the reason you have come here this afternoon is because there's something that is a need in your life that you have come to trust god for and i pray for you before you leave this place the lord will help you to find in the name of jesus so the other disciples also realized that they had a need also and they said to peter look you are not the only one in this situation we're also in the same situation with you so let's all go together and they got in the boat and they went on the lake tiberias or the sea of galilee and the bible says that they fished all night and they couldn't catch anything by the time morning came the most inappropriate time for anyone to expect any catch jesus appeared to them fishermen they know that the best time to catch fishes is at night they have toiled all night when all the factors were right and they couldn't have anything when they thought they had all the connection they needed they still couldn't get what they wanted many of us here we have gone out in search of one thing or the other you have pulled all the strings you know to pull you have met all the people you know will help you and yet at the end of the day the story is the same jesus appeared to them in the morning and he said to them children do you have any meat god knew what the need in their lives was he knew that they had need for meat and so he asked them do you have any meat and they said to him no we haven't i'm sure the reason you are here this afternoon is because you don't have an answer in the affirmative yet to that need of your life but don't worry by the end of this encounter as you step out of this auditorium everything you are looking for will begin to work into your hands in the name of jesus and jesus said to them cast the net on the right side of the sheep and ye shall find now listen to me the secret of the great catch was not about the place where they cast their net into the secret of the great catch was in the statement of the lord the commandment of the lord the decree of the lord he said to them ye shall find even if they have decided not to throw it on that side because jesus said to them ye shall find and because his words will never return to him void they will still have been able to catch may i pray for somebody here this afternoon that decree of the lord that says ye shall find will work for you in that area of your need in the name of jesus i said it will work for you in that area of your need in the name of jesus So what happened that peter and the rest of the disciples couldn't have any catch all through the night 
two possibilities. Number one, it could be that all the fishes run away from them. You know there are people in life that help, blessings, good things run away from. They want to grab it and the thing keeps running away from them. It could be. Otherwise, how will seven men, seven professionals go on a fishing expedition and yet all through the night, not even one. Not one. I perceive that there was a force that came on that sea that night. A force that came to frustrate them. That says to them, all your labor will be fruitless. May I pray for somebody here. But adventure, there is a force, there is a power that says your labor in life will be fruitless. I decree the oppression of that power comes to an end in your life. In the name of Jesus. Or perhaps the fishes were around but somehow they refused to go into their nets. Oh, somebody will say I've been looking for a job for four, five, six, seven years. And yet every day people are given employment. But somehow the employment is not just getting into their hands. The fishes were there but the fishes were not just entering into the nets. May I decree yet into your life if it is that the blessings you are looking for are just dancing around your life but they have refused to come into your hands at the end of this meeting they will begin to run into your hands in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus listen Hannah has been going to Shiloh season after season. And Eli had always been a Shiloh. The man that carried the commanded blessings was always there. Sarah, I mean Hannah had always been there. Yet, no word of blessing had ever gone from the mouth of Eli into the life of Hannah. Until that day that God said to Hannah, enough is enough. You've been around blessings for too long not to enjoy blessings. And he commanded Eli, he says, say to her, the handmaid of the Lord, what you are looking for, you have now found. May I decree into somebody's life this afternoon that every blessing you see around you that you have not been able to enjoy and you really desire to enjoy it, the Almighty God will establish it for you. In the name of Jesus. I said God will give it to you in the name of Jesus. Do you know that after that encounter, Anna never went back to Shiloh again to go and look for a child. He left. She never did. The time she returned to Shiloh, she went there to go and give thanks to God. There's somebody I'm looking at this morning. You have come here this afternoon to look for something. The next time you are coming here, you are coming to give thanks over that thing. In the name of Jesus. Look at that woman with the issue of blood for 12 years. The Bible says that she had visited several places looking for what? Solution to her problem. She's gone from one medical doctor to another one, from one herbalist to another one. There was nowhere she has never been to. But one day came that God said, enough is enough. This healing you are looking for, you will find today. And guess what? Before the end of that day, the affliction of 12 years came to an end. May I yet decree into your life on the strength of this world, especially for those of us that are looking for healing, that that healing you have been seeking for, the Lord will give it to you today in the name of Jesus. For the man that will say a good amen, God will give it to you. In the name of Jesus.
The one that says ye shall find is the one that can do all things. Is the only one that can make a way where there is no way. God without limitations. God without restriction. Hear what it says in Isaiah chapter 46. Isaiah chapter 46, I read from verse 9 to 10. He says, remember the former things of old, for I am God and there is none else. I am God and there is none like me. Declaring the end from the beginning. And from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. I pray for you in the strength of this world that everything you have looked forward to, everything you have believed, you have believed God to enjoy, the God that says my counsel shall stand will do it for you in the name of Jesus. The one that says I will do my good pleasure in your life will establish it for you in the name of Jesus. Verse 9 of that passage, John 21. Verse 9. After they had enclosed so great fishes and they came to the shore, the Bible says that they met Jesus sitting by the coal of fire. And on the coal of fire, there were fishes and there was bread. And he said to them, come and eat. What they went looking for on the sea was waiting for them at the shore. You know what Jesus was saying to them? Jesus was saying to them, the sea is not the source of the meat you are looking for. I am the source of the meat. I don't need the sea to produce fishes. I don't need waters to produce fishes. He says to them, I am the source. Listen to me. The people you are looking up to, they are not the source. They are not. The medical doctors, they are not the source. Your CV that is so beautiful, is not the source. Jesus was saying to them, I am the source. The state of your womb is not the source of babies. Your sperm count as a man is not the source of babies. God says, I am the source. They were looking for fishes on the sea. But the thing was there, waiting for them. When tax collectors came to Jesus and they said, come and pay your tax. And they needed money. Naturally, even though they were not having any money on them, Jesus would have told Peter, go and meet Mr. X or go and meet Mrs. B and collect money from them. But you know what Jesus said to him? He said, go to the river. Go and cast your hook. Any fish that dances towards your hook, he said, bring it out. Open his mouth and bring money out of it. You know what Jesus was saying to them? He said, listen, I don't source my provisions from where men look up to. I am the source and I can get it from anywhere. May I decree over the life of somebody here that thing you are looking for, even though you are looking in the wrong direction, the law will bypass your weakness and the law will bring it to you in the name of Jesus. Look away from the things you have been looking at. Look away from them. Look away from them. Oh, it is not because you are not beautiful that you don't have a husband yet. No. God can give you a good looking man irrespective of the way you are looking. It's not your beauty that brings the men. And men, listen to me. It is not the money you have that will give you a good wife. Stop looking at those things. God is the source. The Bible says that this is from him that all blessings come. It is from him. If there is somebody here that is looking for anything that is called blessing, if there is anybody like that at all, I want to stand to a degree over your life that before this month is over, that blessing that you are looking for, the Lord will send it to you in the name of Jesus. 
I said God will send it to you in the name of Jesus. I said God will send it to you in the name of Jesus. I said God will send it to you in the name of Jesus. I said God will send it to you in the name of Jesus. I said God will send it to you. I said God will send it to you in the name of Jesus. Blessings of a good job, the Lord will send to you. Blessings of the fruit of the womb, the Lord will send to you. Your life partner you have been looking for, the Lord will send to you. In the mighty name of Jesus. God is the source. He's the source. I'm sure they were amazed when they got there and they met what they have gone to toil for all through the night waiting for them. I don't know for how long you've been struggling, toiling, looking for that particular thing. I've come to announce to you this afternoon, your toiling is over. I say your toiling is over. Your labor is over. In the mighty name of Jesus. If you believe it, shout three powerful amen. Amen. up because of time and because we still want to pray. When you get back home, go and read Genesis 24. Abraham had sent out his eldest servant to go and look for a wife for his son, Isaac. And he got to a place in verse 9, 10 and he prayed to God and he said, the God of my, fa- my, my, my master Abraham, he said, please help me. Bring out that woman that you have appointed a wife to Isaac. It's only God that can bring that thing out for you. Only God. And the Bible says, as soon as he finished praying, Rebecca came out. The prayer went and fetched her out. From wherever she was hiding i make a decree again from this altar wherever that thing is hiding that is what you are looking for the almighty god will bring it out for you in the name of jesus i said god will bring it out for you in the name of jesus you know we said it's a covenant service now here is where the covenant comes in Verse 10. When they came and they saw the food waiting for them, Jesus still said to them, He said, Go and bring from the one you have also caught. Go and bring from it. Jesus was saying to them, Not because I need those things, I can do without them. But let them be a testimonial of the miracle that I did in your life beginning from today now listen before you say amen beginning from today before today is over testimonies will begin to come into our hands testimonies of answered prayers we get or us the only thing the lord will want you to do is to write your testimony Put it in an envelope and bring it to the altar of the Lord. If you desire, you can put an offering. It is not compulsory. Bring in your testimony to the Lord and say to him, God, I appreciate you for what you have done for me and you drop it on his altar. Just write it at the back of it, my testimony. I know God. I didn't plan for this service. God instructed that we hold this service. We don't do breakthrough service on a Friday. 
God gave the date that we are to do it. And I know God is not a joker. No, 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 no. God is too serious to gather us together to play around with us. As surely as the Lord God of heavens live before whom I stand, your own testimony will be the first to come in in the name of Jesus. We're going to pray just four prayer points. And I want us to bow down our heads now. Just four prayer points we're going to pray. And then we'll drop our offering and we'll go. Let me say it again. When God answers your own prayer, write the testimony, put it in an envelope and bring. Offering is optional. If you feel that God deserves it, you can give to him. Somebody called me this morning and said, if somebody doesn't have money, should the person come for the covenant service? And I said, covenant service is not about money. It's not about fundraising. It's about us coming to enjoy what God's covenant can do for us. Let's bow down our heads. We want to pray covenant prayers this afternoon. But God's covenant only works for his covenant children. God's covenant only works for his covenant children. Those that their testimony of salvation is sure. And so, peradventure, you are here this afternoon. You have not surrendered your life to Jesus. You are not yet born again. Or you are not so sure of your salvation. For one reason or the other, you are not so sure anymore. And you want the covenant prayers that we want to pray to work for you. You need first to come into the covenant of salvation. And so without wasting time, you know you are there, you want to give your life to Jesus. Or maybe it's for rededication, you want to rededicate your life to Jesus. Will you please rise up wherever you are and quickly come to the altar. Our time is fast spent. We wouldn't want to take time on that. You know you have not given your life to Jesus. Don't deceive yourself. You know you can't deceive God. You can't deceive the devil either. And don't deceive yourself. You know you have not given your life to Jesus. Will you please rise up and quickly come? Or you are not so sure of your salvation. You are not sure. Yes, I gave my life to Christ before, but the way things have happened in my life, I'm not so sure anymore. Please come and quickly kneel before the altar of the Lord. Quickly come. Quickly come. I want to start leading us into the covenant prayers. And I don't want you to miss out of this covenant. So please quickly come. If you are coming, please make it fast. Make it fast because we want to lead you to Christ. Pray with you so that you also can be in a position to pray the covenant prayers we want to pray. Are there still other people that want to join them? Let's come out very quickly. Very quickly. I want to pray for them now. You can't come for this kind of meeting and then you forfeit the grace that God has released. If you want to give your life to Jesus, please quickly come. God bless you as you are coming. God bless you. God bless you. Let's make it very fast. Let's make it very fast. Let's make it very fast. Father, we want to thank you for this, your children. Thank you because they know that there are no alternatives to you. They believe that it's either you or no other God. That's why they have come in humility to surrender their lives unto you. Father, I'm asking, oh God, that you will have mercy upon them in the mighty name of Jesus. You will forgive them of all their sins in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I'm praying for them that you will blot their names out of the book of death. You will write their names in the book of life. 
the covenant of sonship father let it be established for them in the mighty name of jesus thank you precious father in jesus name we pray god bless you please stand up maybe you can just stay here uh, you pray your prayers there before you get back to your seat the rest of us can we please stand up let's please stand up the first prayer you are going to pray if I were you, I would close my eyes so that I don't get distracted from praying the way I should pray. The preacher says, there is an evil I have seen under the heavens. I have seen servants on horsebacks. And I've seen princes walking barefooted. He says, it's an evil is an error that I've seen. As a child of God, you have covenant blessings that accrue to you. Part of your covenant blessing is good health. Part of your covenant blessing is fruitfulness. Part of your covenant blessing is prosperity. Part of your covenant blessing is peace of mind. You are therefore going to pray to God and say, Father, I can hear you say, Father, in the name of Jesus, every blessing that answers to the covenant of sonship that I'm yet to enjoy from this moment forward, let me begin to enjoy in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray to God. Every covenant blessing that answers to the covenant of sonship that I'm yet to begin to enjoy as from this moment forward let me begin to enjoy in the name of Jesus let me begin to enjoy in the name of Jesus let me begin to enjoy in the name of Jesus Pray to him. 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 To him. Thank you, Father. In Jesus mighty name we are prayed. The second prayer we want to pray. The Lord said there's someone here you have this sore on your body that have refused to heal. I don't know which part of your body you have the sore. Sometimes it does as if it's going to heal up and then it opens up again. If you are that person, quickly come before the altar. But the next prayer point we want to pray. Saul was looking for the lost asses of his father Kish. And he went to the house of covenant. He went to meet the prophet of God. By the time he was living there, the things he was looking for we're now looking for him the same thing happened to peter and the rest of the disciples what they went looking for on the sea by the time they came back those things were looking for them you are going to pray to god all the things you have come here looking for by the time you step out you will find those things looking for you so you pray to him and say father I cannot you say, Father, in the name of Jesus, everything that I've come here looking for, by the time I'm leaving this sanctuary, 
and I step out there, let those things begin to find me. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Can I have some ministers here? Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. The Bible said that they got 153 fishes and yet the net didn't break. All the blessings God gave to them, God ensured that none was wasted. You are going to pray unto God that the blessings that will answer to this covenant service none of it will be corrupted in your hands. So you pray to God and say, Father! You know, the, 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 the Yorubas have a way of saying it. They call it amubo. It gets into your hand, but it goes out of your hands. If the net had broken, even though the fishes came in the net, the fishes would have escaped. You are going to pray to God and say, Father! In the name of Jesus, every blessing that will come to me by the reason of this covenant service, none of it will escape. None of it will be corrupted in my hand. In the mighty name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray to God.
let none of it escape when i'm called for that job interview i will not just attend the interview i will get the job when i go into that relationship i will not just waste my time in it it will lead on to my desire when i meet with my husband when i meet with my wife it will not just be an ordinary meeting our expected child will come thank you jesus thank you father in jesus mighty name we are prayed i said in jesus mighty name we are prayed and finally you are going to lift up an offering unto the lord as we take the last prayer point we want to ask god for covenant provisions If you don't have an offering with you, you may please ask from your neighbor. Let nobody go without giving an offering with this prayer we want to pray. And if you are that person, you are in a position to help someone standing by you that seems not to have an offering to give to the Lord. Please help. The widow of the prophets was looking for money. She needed to pay off the debts that the husband left behind. And the servant of the Lord asked her, what do you have in the house? She said, I have nothing, just a little. What you are having in your hand Maybe nothing but a little. But this is going to become a token that will open doors for the meeting of all your financial needs. It's a covenant service. Maybe you have a financial commitment. You have a project that you are trusting God to provide resources to lift up this offering unto God and you are going to use this offering as a contact for that project for that financial commitment the same day that that woman gave the little she had God multiplied it resources multiplied in our hand as we lift up this offering today money will multiply in your hands resources will multiply in your hands in the mighty name of jesus it was five loaves of bread and two pieces of fishes that multiplied and was sufficient to feed a multitude I don't know how huge that project is, but the seed in your hands today will so multiply that whatever it is you need to adequately handle that project, the Lord will provide for you in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, in the name of Jesus. We thank you because you are God. 
Thank you because nothing limits you. Thank you because nothing handicaps you. Thank you because you are greater than all barriers. Thank you because you are greater than all challenges. Thank you because you are greater than all problems. Father, we decree as your word have spoken to us that an end has come to our searching in the name of Jesus. And with this seed, oh God, I speak for multiplication. I decree may resources multiply in your hands. May money multiply in your hands. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every project of your life that waits for money to come, the Almighty God will provide for it in the name of Jesus. By this token, every financial embarrassment in your life, the Lord will bring to an end in the name of Jesus. And as the Lord anoints our hands today, not only will the things you lay these hands upon prosper, but I also decree that on a consistent basis, your hands will not lack the blessings of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Even before today is over, Is that what you are looking for? You will find in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed.